If you're in my recent videos, I've been talking about how Jordan been trying to change up their style, change up the look on the shoes, change up the materials. And today we have one of those new Jordans that the material is pretty different. Guys, today here we have the Air Jordan 5 Navies. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys here today and of course we do have an on foot so make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But before we start on this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate, I appreciate all the love support you guys have been giving me. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description. I also have my own clothing brand so if you guys want to support that, a follow will come a long way. The Instagram is tapping through a 5 website just in case you guys want to shop is www.tappingthrough5.com. Come. And as of right now, you guys will be seeing what we do have in store for the clothing brand. But besides that, let's dive in straight into these Jordan 5s because I know you guys are waiting to see. Start with the box as we always do. If this is not your first time watching my channel, you guys know how I love a good box and when the box is different. And this box is pretty nice. First of all, it's matching the shoe with that navy colorway. And then you have splatters everywhere and just, I guess, white. And then you have Flight Club Jumpman logo right here. I'm not really understanding the difference when they add the Flight Club. I see they've been adding it on a few releases. So I'm not really understanding the difference when they have the regular Nike Swoosh or when they have the Jumpman or when they just smack the Flight Club. I'm not sure why, but they have it on this. You have the Flight Club. I mean, um, yeah, you have, um, I, I believe they call this Fubar Gray, but it's kind of like a um, babyish, uh, like baby bluish. And you have the Jumpman in black. They have Jordan Flight Air Jordan Flight Club going in circles, which is pretty nice detail to have compared to the standard um, Jordan 5 box. And that's how the rest of the box is. Let me show you where the label at. That's how it looks. I'll insert a little screenshot so you guys can see the label a little clearer. And I'll also read for you guys. The label reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SE and the, and the colorway is Midnight Navy Black. This is a size USA 9. Um, Euro is a 42.5. UK is a 8 made in China and as you open the box you have paper wrapping with splatters on there and then besides that it should be the shoe in there and you have the inside of the box in that football gray colorway again kind of a babyish blue in my opinion all right guys so now that we're done with the box let's jump straight into the shoe and talk about some details and some colorways so first off this shoe released today Friday, November the 10th at retail of 210. It did release in full family size run. So we have the men's in retail of 210s. We have the GS in retail of 160. And I um I believe the preschool is at 100 and the toddler is at $85. Let me double check just to make sure I'm accurate about these information. And yep, correct. It's all on sneakers. Um, right now on sneakers, the toddler is sold out, but I see everything else is still available. So if you're watching this, um, probably you're probably gonna be watching this in the afternoon or maybe the next day. I'm not sure if it's still gonna be available on sneakers, but you might you might be lucky. I don't see these really selling out too quick. So if you guys still want them, you might have a chance to get them on sneakers or in your local store. Just see um, which local store around you have these Jordan Five. But now let me show you guys an up close look on how these Jordan 5 navies look and the change in the materials they have on there and it's really really different. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm going to start all right, I'm going to start with the toe box area because that's a different material compared to the rest of the shoe. So we have the toe box area and a canvas material. Um we we seen um a couple Jordans before with that canvas material on there. So it's not a, it's not really a um a surprise, but now Besides that, we have this, these side panels right here around the laces and as well in, this, in that canvas material. You have the tongue in that canvas material as well. You have the tongue in that canvas material as well. You have the jump in in black. And besides that, besides that, let me see if there's more canvas around the shoe. No, that's really, yeah, that's really much the canvas. So you have the canvas around the toe box. You have it around the side panels right here around your laces. You have the canvas material on your tongue and obviously you have that in that navy colorway the whole upper is in that navy colorway and now going
to the next material of the shoe, which I'm really confused about, is this area. This area, they're calling it suede, a premium suede, but to me, I feel like they wasn't too sure what they were, what they wanted to do with this suede, with this part of the material, because it's like, it's like they, it's like they was debating should they add suede or should they not add suede, because it's like it's so little, it's not much suede on, on there. It's like it's just yeah, let me just sprinkle a little spray, um, let me just sprinkle a little suede on there, and that's it. I don't know, it just feels weird. I don't know, I don't, I don't really, to me, it's not like a premium look to me, but again, it, it is what it is. It's Jordan. They always gonna do different stuff, and people are gonna buy. It. People are gonna buy. It. You have the back, you have Jumpman stitched up right here in black. Um, let's go back to the front. You have um, right here the clear um, translucent cage that we always have on our Jordan 5 on both sides. You also have it behind the laces right here. You have your laces and that Midnight Navy um, colorway as well. You have it, you kind of have it, yeah, you have it in that Midnight Navy colorway and it's a mixture of black. I'm not sure if the camera could pick it up, but it's a mixture of navy and black, kind of like little squares like knitting you know um and besides that you have the lace lock right here and a dark translucent lace lock you have the jump in on this side right here Now going to the inside of the shoe, you have your sock liner and that soft material that they always have on the Jordan 5. Pretty good, feels pretty good. The whole inside of the shoe is in that navy colorway. It's pretty tight, hold on. Yeah, the whole inside of the shoe is in that navy colorway. You have the Jumpman, I believe is in that um, football gray colorway. Um, it looks white, but I believe it's, that, it's in that football gray colorway. Um, you have the midsole and that football gray colorway, again to me. Kind of like a babyish blue but they're calling it football gray you have right here the um the teeth on the jordan 5 right here and then they um and that navy blue colorway that midnight navy blue colorway with the splatters and white matching the box which i love when they do that yeah i love when um i love when they match the box with the shoe it just the detail is just it just makes the details way much better in my honest opinion now let's go to the also of the shoe you have the middle jordan and that midnight navy colorway you have the rest in translucent you guys can see the um jump right here and that midnight navy colorway and that's really pretty much you have right here and that midnight navy colorway and that's really much all for the detail can't forget behind the tongue you have the patch right here and that midnight navy colorway and you have air jordan written I'm pretty sure is that football gray Air Jordan is written in that colorway. It's not white. You know my coloring, my eyesight coloring is not the best, but I'm pretty sure it's that football gray colorway. All right, guys, so now that you guys seen the up close look of the Jordan 5 navies, comment below how you guys feel, comment your rating, comment if this is a cop or pass for you, and I'm going to start first, of course. For me personally, I'll say my rating, I'll start with my rating first. I'll say this is a 7, and nothing's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a hater. Um, I think this is a pretty good solid shoe, but rating wise, I'm giving a 7, a 7 is pretty good. Um, it's not that bad. The reason why I'm saying this is because from far away, this shoe looks mean. It looks nice. That blue, that blue looks, it looks nice from far away. But when you get up close, when you take a look at it, this is throwing me off. This is really throwing me off. Um, I feel like they should just did the whole, um, the whole shoe and that canvas material and just call it a day. This feels way much better compared to these Jordan 5s. This feels way much better, in my honest opinion, compared to, to this feeling. Um, this feeling feel like it's soft and not supposed to be there. Like they just they don't know they didn't know what to do or how much amount they needed to put. But this feels kind of good and it, it I mean it looks different, you know. But 
it's not a bad shoe again like i said seven is not a bad reading and that's my honest opinion and that to me i don't feel like i need this in my uh, in my collection that's why it's not really a personal cop for me and i just grab my friend size that's why it's not even my size just so i could do the video for you guys but if you guys do feel this um again i do feel like that navy blue looks very nice on feet and especially from far away so i do feel like it's gonna look pretty good if you guys do cop these and again i'm a i'm a big fan of blue shoes so again it's not that bad so that's why i'm giving a, a rating of a seven but do not forget to comment below how you guys feel about these again i want to hear what you guys want to say so when it comes down to jordan 5 sizing i always recommend you guys can go true to size you guys will be perfectly fine with true to size but true to size will be perfectly good for you guys if you guys never had a jordan 5 before and want to know what size to go for but besides that guys that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys enjoyed the outfit if you guys did please don't forget to like comment subscribe join the family if you guys haven't yet i appreciate all the love support you guys have given me it's thinkers and chris i'm out i'll catch you guys in the next one